Hi everybody, I'm Asaf. I want to introduce waiters. Before I will give you the details about this special product, I want to introduce myself. Um, I am a well experienced uh, IT professional. I was graduated at the Technion in the Department for Computer Science. A um, few years ago I started to study toward my master degree in the Industrial Engineering uh, Department and I am now toward finish of my study. Um, most of my experience was in uh, database systems, uh, online uh, applications. I was uh, working for a few uh, industries uh, and now I'm focusing on waiters, which is, I believe, some kind of a new way to look and experience the way that all of us are controlling and managing our uh, restaurants um, um, meals and ordering system, a table reservation, etc. So let us be, uh, begin. So uh, waiters. Now, what is a uh, kofosu zuzini? I'm asking, and the waiter tell me it is a baked potato stuffed with garlic. Uh, is it spicy? Uh, depends on your prefer preferences. And, and you may also ask for a top cover uh, in addition. Now, what kind of uh, covers do you serve? And etc. etc. Uh, each and every one of us uh, know uh, it happens all the time. It's kind of annoying. Uh, in the good uh, case, in the worst case, it's it kind of horrible and uh, stressed and uh, makes a confusion. It is a time consumer. Um, in terms of the client, it, 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 it is only time consumer. In terms of, of the restaurant owner, it may be uh, also uh, some uh, money consumer since he has to pay to this waiter to give all of these details and um, uh, we don't want to wait to the waiters we don't want uh, to deal with uh, those things anymore uh, we have to uh, incorporate the technology and achieve a new way to handle all of these situations and this is what waiter is about to do so, um, and it happens, uh, yes, it happens all the time. And um, especially when we decide to, to celebrate some uh, family event and we want to invite some other people and uh, each one of us has uh, his uh, wishes for the dish and what kind of kitchen. We try to settle down a time slot and uh, what position or fancy restaurant will we go? And uh, when we finish hustling with this and, uh, and reserving the table and uh, we already checked in, then we are waiting uh, for the waiter and uh, perhaps he has enough menus or not enough. Maybe the menu is not updated and some dishes are not currently available. And when we ask for details about the dishes, he asked to, uh, I will go to the kitchen and I will ask the chef. But uh, we don't need this uh, anymore because even uh, if he give us answer, then uh, right away when we try to decide what is our favorite dish, then it must rush to the next table since we need the bill or anything else. And then when he order and he goes to the kitchen and he comes back and say, I'm sorry, uh, this dish is not currently available. And many things can happen and it happens all the time. And by the way, it is not the end. So uh, we want to know 
when will the dish will be ready and sometimes we are not happy with the dish and we want the waiter to come again we want the, the steak when it's not medium but uh, well done or we want to order some dessert and then we have the process of payment and we have to separate the bills according to the different people who eat different dishes and uh, let me take you uh, into a close look on how uh, our new system will solve this out. So, uh, waiter will provide full flexible menu generator and we're gonna include uh, some uh, daily record mention uh, prices options, uh, options of the meals and dishes, some special offering. Um, it will uh, support smartphone user application and I think this is some important uh, point because since we, we survey, we, we had some uh, market survey about competition and uh, other application that uh, exist now in the market and most of them requires some special device uh, uh, requirement and, uh, and support and, and we are focusing on, on incorporating existing technology. Remember this point, we'll come back to this later. Um, the dishes information of course and reviews including of uh, some videos of the chef explaining its own um, way of making the, this dish uh, including of some other reviews uh, recorded reviews or other rating um, of some social networking support which means that we will be able to socialize this event this restaurant to try and uh, gather together for, for the reservation or for the um, uh, orders and dishes for for instance I can recommend my sister to try and take the dish that I choose or take it with another option and it will all be um, available to us uh, on the net with our smartphone uh, I can sit on my sofa here at home and my sister is in Jerusalem or whatever and we can gather together to speak about well, where are we going to eat, when, and what will be our order. Come um, on, the order will be online. We we'll have the status notification. We're going to um, use some smart. Uh, I will talk about it later. But we use smart um, technology to identify the dish while it is uh, in the kitchen and while it's going out from the kitchen and. Uh, when it's ready and the, the, we'll, we'll have the, the status notification. Come uh, on, of course, the personal history and preferences uh, will be um, stored in the database. It will be available to us. Um, uh, I mentioned the easy to use payment system with this separation. And uh, and I, and I want to, uh, to speak about uh, some of the major uh, problems and pains that uh, this industry and us as the consumer of those services are facing today. So, uh, first is menu maintenance. Uh, I, 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 I'm not sure that uh, all of you realize how difficult it is to maintain uh, up-to-date relevant menu for the restaurant I mean okay they can try to arrange nice restaurant a menu and uh, to print it and to update it but then um, you have some seasonal uh, dish so you come to the restaurant and it says um, available only on the season so is it season now or is it off season or on season where are we so, and the way of generating the the menu online in our hand is beautiful 
Another thing is the table reservation, social networking, as I mentioned before. Um, the order reception and maintenance, most of the time, and it happens most of the time, we want to change our order. Let's say, I want the garlic onion soup, soap or soup, soap, and then I want to switch it to vegetable uh, soap. So, if this order can still be maintained or changed, it is nice, but we never know it unless we call the waiter and then he comes and then he go back to the kitchen to query about it and then he knows if it is possible or not. No, it can be possible to know it online. And the nasty QA sessions about the additions and the top cover of the stuffed potatoes and uh, whether the steak will be well done or only medium, maybe raw and about the chocolate cream, is it kosher, is it not? Uh, there are many many uh, QA sessions and we will solve this out. Status updates, I was talking about it. The payment hassle will be solved too. The reviews and recommend, uh, recommendation, collection and sharing. And of course uh, the device purchase and, and support. We'll, we will not need to support uh, anything. Okay, now uh, let's take a look on some uh, comprehensive view on our system. Um, a cloud base, a database and server which will be able to serve any kind of request from the kitchen which will be able to give the feedback get, uh, about the orders and get the orders uh, I can sit in my sofa and order the dish or reserve the table uh, ask my girlfriend to come out with me uh, we can sit in the restaurant and enjoy um, and not hustling uh, with, uh, with, with the waiters which in turn can give us uh, feedback and uh, of course they can still come and uh, help us uh, I want to mention one important thing uh, while we queried and uh, surveyed the market uh, many restaurant owners mentioned the fact that they believe that the human and the, and, and, and the a touch of the waiter with, with the customers is important for him. Uh, many other mentioned that they believe that the customer has to rise from his table, go uh, to the kitchen, select the part of, of, of the steak that he wants that will be prepared for him. Uh, okay, uh, this uh, share of the market will be able to choose to use the system in addition of still make it possible to talk with the human live uh, waiter um, so th th this is the product uh, it has to give you a comprehensive uh, look on the way that we see how we manage the, the food and the beverage uh, market and uh, in the full service uh, eating places uh, including of uh, half service or, or, or even some uh, event uh, it is not far from imagination that even when we are uh, serving a dinner in a, in a wedding we can use a waiter's system to help the place that is hosting those were wedding or couples and, and also help uh, the guests, ourselves. And, and I count myself as a guest since I'm not a restaurant owner. Uh, technology. It's important to understand before I review uh, some of the bullets here that a waiter's system is not uh, inventing new technology it, uh, it, we'll talk about, uh, about it later but uh, it gives us uh, some uh, opportunity to go to market very fast 
But anyway, uh, as I mentioned, uh, it is a smart cloud-based server and uh, databases. Uh, we will use some uh, position-based caching and notification means that um, if we are in at New York City, we don't have to uh, take care for um, uh, California uh, offering. Uh, we will be able uh, to give uh, fast response times and uh, some algorithms that will take uh, advantage of uh, those uh, mechanisms. Uh, devices support, as I mentioned before, all devices. Um, uh, the dish and table identification is, uh, uh, you have to understand that to give uh, the easy way to identify where we are sitting in the restaurant or where is our dish, you have to use some technology for locating uh, those things. And luckily, uh, most of our smartphones, devices, uh, can uh, identify and use uh, Bluetooth, RFID, uh, GPS, etc. We will use all of these things um, to give those technology place in our system. Um, recommendation algorithm, uh, as the time uh, flies, we understand that the data that is gathered about ourselves is not against us. It, uh, it can help us. So the system will be able to recommend me vegetarian dishes uh, since, uh, uh, since, since we know that I'm vegetarian or some other uh, algorithm uh, um, part that will be able to recommend some combination between the dishes and uh, while the time pass and my history is stored in the database it may be possible to understand what is best for me and uh, it is recommendation uh, anyway so you have to uh, always uh, support uh, the user ability to not take in this recommendation uh, competition. Um, okay, uh, many, many, many uh, competitors, and uh, I, I want to emphasize uh, that the market is now rising. It is waking up. As, uh, as you all uh, understand, the way that the dishes are served in New York today is the way it was served. 100 years ago. It means that we are facing a big challenge and opportunity of taking this market and entering while it is rising. Um, anyway, none of, uh, of the competitors that we reviewed uh, stretched the lines uh, and the values as the way that we are going to do. Uh, um, we are looking uh, as a comprehensive uh, uh, look on the way that these things should be done. Um, many of the competitors, and there are many good applications that we reviewed, uh, give some support for some aspects, but uh, none of them uh, stretch the values. Um, regarding the restaurant uh, point of sale softwares, um, it is commonly used. Um, we take it as a completely uh, integrated uh, product. Um, some of the competitors, as Menu Drive, uh, Taburo, uh, Elacarte. Um, Elacarte is a good product, it requires a purchase of devices. Um, and menu Drive uh, do not include the uh, status updates. Um, the most uh, important thing, as I mentioned uh, before, and uh, you have to, to take this line as the most important from the competition uh, review that I just gave you, is that recent research shows that the market is in front of a new era. And this is the most important thing. Now uh, let's talk about the business model and the market. Okay, and The market is huge. <laughs> okay. Um, it, it is enough to take a micro share uh, for success in, uh, in, 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 in having a, a success here. Um, 
the USA, uh, I'm talking about 2014, is 683 billion dollar market. Um, I will uh, I will go into um, some slide that is not here. It is in our market survey, and I want to to give you some look on on the different part of the market. What we see in yellow here is the eating places. It is more than 60% of the market. The market includes also bars and uh, some tavernas, uh, retail, uh, um, retail stores, um, some uh, lodging uh, places, and uh, non-commercial military uh, share of the market. Uh, but uh, even if we focus uh, on this uh, part, uh, I want to give you some other slide that give us the full service restaurant and full service means that you have a waiter and menu and we are sitting and eating and having all of uh, the uh, processes that I mentioned before so uh, it, uh, it sums up in, uh, to 212 billion dollar um, to understand how huge the market is now let me please uh, go back uh, to the presentation and uh, give you the, 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 the view about our biz model. So as I mentioned, uh, uh, we believe that only 3 to 4% of the market is relevant for a highly uh, successful uh, adoption of a waiter's system. Um, some people may say this is a, some kind of non-optimistic uh, market uh, review, uh, but we believe that not all of this huge market uh, fits. Um, uh, we are going to um, to to use some uh, smart um, software as a service uh, a billing mechanism, which will allow us to achieve approximate of 0.1 percent. Um, it makes share all of this data makes share of six million dollar. Uh, uh, it is not a uh, possible to reach this share in the first uh, or second year but we believe that after three or four years we will reach this market share um, regarding some other commercial offering and uh, advertising and some uh, uh, different offering that we will be able to provide we believe and we are sure we not only believe we, sure, we are sure that we will be able to provide many different commercial offerings based on the data that will be collected by our system, that will be stored in our databases. Uh, you can only imagine. Uh, I will talk about it later, please. Let us go um, um, to the marketing. Uh, our marketing is not very aggressive. Uh, what we see here is uh, the revenue that we believe uh, we will take from uh, year one which is uh, lost uh, since uh, we have to develop the system and uh, and uh, give some uh, alpha and beta uh, QA sessions but uh, in the first year we will give some pilots and the loss is not that big from third year it is a success we will uh, arrive at uh, this six million uh, revenue uh, after some years. Um, marketing, marketing to worldwide, by the way, uh, we believe that it requires rethinking since the world behaves differently. Uh, the market looks different, the culture is different, and it requires rethinking. Uh, 
if though this uh, optimistic uh, or non-optimistic, uh, as I mentioned before, since we took a very small percentage of the market that may fit, uh, if it will uh, hold anyway, then we will be able to rethink about uh, worldwide marketing. Uh, I'm sure it is going to happen, of course. Um, cash flow and uh, in terms of uh, if we look about the money and the cash flow, uh, it is not a, a, a long way to market. Okay, we, we have to take one year, one year of uh, of developing. It is a pure loss. Can uh, take the second year as an addition loss since we will take only pilots customers and. And third year is uh, kind of balanced, but uh, from, from third year, uh, it is a success. Uh, I want to show you uh, our... Um, uh, if, if we focus um, on the market share, as I mentioned before, we take only 3% that will fit. Um, by changing this number, we can achieve some different uh, size of success. Uh, but what we saw based on this, uh, if you we take a look on the years to come and uh, those graphs or charts that we reviewed uh, earlier is uh, counting the years from uh, year one, uh, two, three uh, and on uh, since the first year takes no income at all. Uh, the costs are uh, derived from our development uh, plan. I will be able to show uh, if it's required. But anyway, it is a pure loss uh, in the first year. Second year will give us some low income. Uh, we believe that with uh, large uh, pilot customers, will be able to take 10% of our market share. Our market share is anyway small, as I mentioned, only 3% of the huge full service restaurant market share. But uh, it's enough to be balanced, uh, almost balanced uh, at the uh, third year. Now, um, if we review the coming years, we see at this line the revenues uh, starts to grow until they reach almost our market share and the cash flow starts to be uh, very positive. I will go back to the presentation to understand some uh, aspects of the timeline. Um, we believe the uh, development plan is ready to go. Uh, we believe that uh, within uh, one year uh, we will be ready to have our pilot uh, customers use and pay, uh, as I mentioned, in the model of SaaS. And market plan, marketing plan is not ready. To be honest, uh, we, we will start it by, side by side as the development uh, uh, goes on. Uh, and the challenge, uh, right now the challenge is, is to click the start button. Uh, since the market uh, is about to awake, uh, is, is basically is currently awakening uh, while we are sleeping. Uh, so uh, this is the challenge. Um, what else? Um, Ah, yeah, um, if you want to review our development uh, plan, um, it is here. Um, okay, there is a lot of data here, but uh, what is important to see is that in month 12, we are ready. I mean, this development plan is, uh, is taking uh, into account that within one year we'll finish the development. Uh, we take a look on the bottom line which is um, uh, less than uh, one million dollar of investment um, and this is the bottom line. Uh, 
we have here an opportunity to enter awakening market a huge awakening market to take a small piece and gather some market share that will be able to adopt this system uh, thanks I will be happy to have some uh, questions uh, supply the answers